Alright, babe. Say hi. Hi. Say how are you? Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh, What's going on, RVG fam fam? <laughs> this makes me laugh because it's so hard to talk. So I got this charcoal pill off mask. This is like my third time using it. It's right here. And I really love it. After, like when I pull this off, dude, it's so painful. My face feels so soft after this. It's like super cool. I just wanted to show you guys like how much this hurts. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they say, beauty is pain. Why do my lips look like super big right now? Ah! As you can see, I learned my lesson. I didn't put it above my upper lip because it freaking hurts when you take off. Ow, and it always hurts like right here when it gets close to your hairline. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I literally cracked myself up. I'm gonna try to get this off, okay? I'll see you guys in a minute. Voila, and I'm ready. <laughs> and I can actually talk now because I have a black mask on my face. Um, by the way, my face feels like super duper soft. So now that I can talk, I can say what's going on RBG fam bam. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new to our channel, if you can go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell button for us, okay? I am on my way uh, to drop off Elijah with Auntie Irma and I'm gonna go have my procedure done. I'm super nervous. Uh, at the same time, I just wanna get it over with because I think I will feel 10 times better than what I feel now. I think it just needs to be over with. I think that's just a part of the healing process. I think it's gonna allow me to move on like 100%. All right, let's go. Hey, what's going on, fam bam? So I'm sitting here in the parking lot um, awaiting my wife's arrival. Her sister's actually dropping her off and I'm gonna walk up with her up into the um, office here and admit her in. For those that are just new to the channel, yeah, we recently uh, had a situation where you know, we had our second miscarriage and we're getting through it. And today is our DNC. Hopefully everything goes well for her. Look who it is. Hey. You come here often? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? It was super cold earlier. <laughs> You look really familiar. My wife is getting surgery today, so shout out to Dina, Riverside Medical Clinic. Thank you. How do you feel? I feel fine. You're... I, I don't like IVs in my hand. I don't like this. Mm. I'd rather have them in my arm. Are you ready for your surgery? I just want to get it over with. I think you'll feel better once it's done. We can get back to normal. Okay, good luck. Love you. I'll be in Orange County. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, she's getting video. She likes my Naughty by Me sweatshirt. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> so there's restrooms here if you need them. Lobby's right there. Okay. We'll take good care of her and they will call you in as soon as she wakes up. Okay? Appreciate you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Alright, babe. What up, bam bam? So we just got out of surgery right now. She's doing fine. She's saying that she can hardly see, maybe because of the anesthesia. Anesthesia is warm, warm enough, I can say it right. She's feeling a little bit cold, so we got her a blanket. We got her some crackers. We got her some water because she wasn't able to eat the last 12 hours. How do you feel, babe? Just tired. Tired? You hungry? I know. Do you remember anything? That's it. Oh, do they? The doctor said they're going to put you on doxycycline, doxycycline and um, Motrin for the for the cramps. Okay. I'll make sure to take care of that. She came and talked to me, but she thought that you'd be out of it. Yeah. So I'll make sure I had all that down. Okay. 
so I'm going to grab the car that I'm going to meet Vanessa in the back. She did okay overall. She just feels a little nauseous, a little crampy, but that's normal because of the procedure. Um, she's going to be on Motrin and they got her on doxycycline for, uh, for about a week. She's got to stay away from greasy foods and she's just got to eat healthy. She's feeling a bit tired right now, so we're going to go home and uh, maybe get her something to eat. Let's see if she's up to that. Just woke up from a nap, me and little man. Wifey's upstairs. Layla's upstairs playing with her friend who came over. And me and the little man about to go to the pharmacy and pick up the heinous medication. She's doing well. We'll check up on her a little bit. What you got, Buzz? This guy going around thinks he's Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> get away! Get him, Bubba, get him! Say, give my gun back. That's okay. I'm gonna go play over here with daddy anyway. Say, what's good, Bam Bam? Say, what's up, Bam Bam? He's upset, because we left his little buzz gun in the car. He's like attached to that thing. Say, hi. Say, hi. So, we're at uh, everybody's favorite place. Say, why am I? Run away, baby. Run away, baby. Run away, baby. <laughs> Your mama said we gotta get some more milk. What kind of milk should we get? Huh? Huh? That's not milk. Eliza loves the uh, the whipped cream, man. Is it cold? Look at cold. Cold. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Daddy's creamer, huh? Some of Eliza's favorite pouches right here. Which kind are you gonna get? You wanna get blueberry? Let me see. Oh, banana flax and oat. Want some of that? Let's get some veggies, Papa. You need veggies in your life, okay? Yeah. Okay, put it over there. Put it in the basket. Want to get peach? Look at the panda. Say hi to the panda. <laughs> All right, I know what you guys are thinking. Why is this guy wearing a panda hat in the store? Anyway, it made my son's day. Put it over there. Good boy. All right, put this over there. Put it over there. Good boy. It's a heavy one. All right, good boy. I hardly ever eat McDonald's. Actually, I'm lying. I was eating breakfast for a while. I was trying to be good. I was doing the breakfast. Sauce, McMuffin, cheese, all that good stuff. Anyway, when I was a kid, a lot of you can probably relate. Remember the McDonald's value packs that they used to have? And they would come with like the carton and you get like a like a medium drink. I'd always got to get the high C orange. And then it would come with like a choice of a quarter pounder or two cheeseburgers and then have the fries in the middle. And then it would come with like a little prize, little toy. They, they were called the value packs. <laughs> A baby kid's chicken nugget meal with uh, barbecue sauce. How many kid meals? All right, I'll take a four piece. We actually don't have lemonade today. What? I'm sorry about that. Hey, there's no lemonade. What else? Hey, I got to make sure she's cool because I don't want to come back with the wrong drink. Stand by. I'm texting my wife right now. I got to wait for the warden to respond. That's fine. We got a complicated order. McDonald's used to have these scratchers back then. Way back then, Dukes of Hazards was popular. And I remember we used to have these little red Dukes of Hazards scratchers. And my wife would go like, who, Dukes of what? Because we're like 13 years apart. After every baseball game, my mom would take me there. Well, almost every other game. I mean, they say that, you know, nowadays, oh, you can't feed your kids this, you can't feed your kids that. Man, that's baloney. I'm from the old school. Like, I grew up on all of it. McDonald's was the main one. My mom cooked every now and then. It was mainly my grandmother who did the cooking. My mom worked 24 7. What's going on? You're on the vlog. Say what's up. I was telling them, I was telling story time right now about McDonald's. You remember the combo value packs? The combo value packs? No. See what I'm saying? Hit that button right now, that like button, if you remember the combo value packs. Stay warm, all right? All right. So anyway, we're gonna grab the food, head back to the house, and yeah, enjoy our Friday night. Go yeah. Peace. One thing I forgot to mention, I got my wife one of her favorite treats. Her favorite spot closed early today, but doesn't matter. She loves cookies. I'm gonna go surprise her right now. She's in the room. Hey now. But I got you something. Oh <laughs> well, no, you didn't. Hey, baby. Your favorite soft cookies. Those are so soft. Yeah. 
They like melt in your mouth. I got you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Where'd you go? Are you ready for bed? If you notice, RBG fan man, well, you didn't see the uh, pajamas I put them in. I had a dead <laughs> father fail earlier. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Elijah, come to find out, I fail to realize that he's now two years old. Well, I didn't do the math. That's 24 months. I went and put an 18 month <laughs> pajama suit on him. They were so tight on his feet. I felt bad. So mommy but, had to but come But he's in. so small. Like, I didn't even realize it. You know what I mean? He's just really skinny, but he's tall. So he's... Obviously taller than an 18-month-old, so. Oh, here comes these guys. Look what she did to me. Oh. Let me see. Come here. <gasps> you guys. <laughs> Never have my I hat have it on my pants. I have it on my pants. Your shirt. I know. She put it on my butt. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Marking each other up? Can, can you explain the, oh, these shenanigans? Oh. No. <laughs> They're washable. You, you guys are so loud. Okay. They're washable. We have a mar marker fight. Uh, obviously. <laughs> uh, looks like uh, Gwen won. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. That's weird. I never did that as a kid. I never chased my friend around and tried to mark him out. I never did that either. So anyway, Fan Bam, we just wanted to say uh, thank you guys once again for all the prayers, man. During surgery, babe, you you got so much love, babe. It, it's man, we're blessed. That's all I gotta say. We are blessed, and um, thank you guys. You guys have kind hearts. They really gave me some good medication. Like it knocked me out, and I just literally have been so tired all day. Mm -hmm. You still feel crampy? You got cramps? It comes and goes. Yeah. One got your medication, so you know, she's on that. She's taking care of me. And she got her cookies and anything else she wants. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Please share this channel and please drop us a like. And uh, leave your name in the comments you want to shout out. Oh, by the way, Arsenio. Shout out to Arsenio Velasquez, man. He just celebrated his 30th birthday. Shout outs to you, man. Oh, happy birthday. That's Most so definitely. Cool. 30? 30 years old. Dirty 30, baby. But uh, good people right there. So, three, two, one. Bye.